all this is it on the place. Pokemon Leaf Green! We have defeated Lorelei, the Ice Trainer. We have defeated Bruno, the Fighting Trainer. Now comes Agatha, the third Elite Four member that we're gonna do a second battle with. We know her for having Ghost-type Pokemon such as Gengar and, and Hunter and Arbok and those. We just have to see what can we expect from Agatha this time. What type of Jota Pokemon does she have in her store? And what about her other Pokemon? Have there been some changes there as well? Let's just check our Pokemon here. We have Moltres, Primeape, Articuno, Vaporeon, Zapdos, and Mewtwo. Now for this upcoming battle, we're actually gonna do a little, not like a cheat, but just gonna show you the power of one Pokemon. That means I probably will be doing a little change here. Put Mewtwo in front. Why? Because Mewtwo is a beast of a Pokemon. Go first, try something else like Moltres, for example, or even Zapdos, Vaporeon, Articuno, Primate. Primate will be probably a bad choice here. Problem is that some multiple of her Pokemon know Psychic, which will kill off Primate rather quickly. The other types of moves have are like Hypnosis, Confuse Race, they all blow them know. They also know some moves like Shadow Ball, Shadow Punch. And some other very strong moves, so they can be a bit problematic as well to use, but you can use them if you want to. And also the other Pokemon as well will do pretty fine in terms of damage-wise if you want to do it, but I would recommend maybe being a bit careful here if, in case you just feel like this is going to be a bit tough. I don't want to show the power of Mewtwo anyway, so let's start off with Mewtwo in the battle against Agatha of the Elite Four. Let's see what her new setup is all about. I'm Agatha of the Elite Four. You're the child that Oak's taken under his wing, aren't you? That old Duff was once tough and handsome. That was a decades ago. He's a shadow of his former self. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's wrong. Pokemon are for battling. Zitano, I'll show you how a real trainer battles. And here we go, round two versus Agatha, Elite Four member of Ghost Pokemon. Let us see what we'll face off. The first Pokemon we'll face off will be the same as we faced in the first time we faced her, which will be a Gengar. So Gengar out versus Mewtwo. Now do note that Gengar is a Ghost and Poison type Pokemon, so even the Ghost kind of only has a weakness to itself. Being a poison dual type means that you don't really have much choice versus versus me. So be careful as well that do remember that Gengar does know the levitate ability, so if you want to have like a ground Pokemon or some earthquake, they will do no damage against Gengar because Gengar will float above the air. So don't do that. When it comes to other Pokemon though, you might have to do some other cool things. But yeah, this Gengar anyways will no levitate, will be careful. He knows Confuse Ray, Shadow Punch, Hypnosis, and Psychic. If you do have a Dark type Pokemon, you will do a lot of damage here. You actually need to clean up the whole Agatha team. Because Hypnosis and Psychic doesn't work on Dark types. And Ghost type moves, as far as I can remember, does reduce damage on Dark types as well. You can still confuse you, you can still hit you with Shadow Punch. But aside from that, it's not really dangerous. Do note that Shadow Punch is a special attack in this part, simply because it's not based on types. But again, he's Ghost and Poison. Poison means Psychic's going to melt him. One Psychic on Gengar will be more than enough to take care of Gengar and take him out completely. So out with Gengar, and Mewtwo gets the love on this one. Here we have a little change. I got that a gold bat last time, but that's evolved to Crobat. That's the Generation 2 evolutional form of Golbat and the fully evolved form of Zubat. For fighting off against Crobat, we have two choices here that can do really well. That is Articuno and Zapdos. Both of them have moves that can do a lot of damage to Crobat. Since we've already used Zapdos in a while, we haven't even seen Articuno in action so far, which is my, actually my favorite Pokemon of all. So, my favorite Pokemon Articuno, come on out against Crobat. Crobat, of course, looks very vicious. It's a very strong Pokemon. Crobat is a poison flying, knows inner focus. It has the abilities, uh, I mean the moves, Confuse Ray, Shadow Ball, Air Cutter, and Sludge Bomb. Confuse Ray, of course, the Confusion, Shadow Ball for a powerful ghost attack. Air Cutter for a very good uh, flying move. 
has Ledge Bomb for a lot of poison damage. For a problem with the Crobat, he has a weakness to Ice and Electric, such and even Rock if you have that. So let's just give him a very cold reception with Ice Beam. He's faster than me though and will land the Sludge Bomb on Articuno, how much damage will we take? About the third. Ice Beam on Crobat. Let's see how much Crobat will survive with the Ice Beam. It will go straight down! Crobat goes down in a single hit! Well done, Articuno! Speaking of changes, here comes another change. Haunter is no longer part of Agatha's team. It's been switched out with Miss Trevis, a Yoto Ghost Pure Type. That's right, the first ever Pure Type Ghost Pokemon is Miss Trevis from the Generation 2. Now, in terms of doing damage to Miss Trevis, Nemo, note that only weakness for a ghost type Pokemon is Ghost. So, we need to hit him with a ghost type attack or just powerful other type of attacks. Be careful though, Miss Trevis knows some really very powerful moves. But to go off against the uh, Miss Trevis, I will go back with Mewtwo. Because I learned Mewtwo Shadow Bolt for a reason that is actually to face off against Miss Trevis. So, let's get in Mewtwo again versus Miss Trevis of Team Agatha. There it is, Miss Trevis. Miss Trevis, a very dangerous Pokémon. And Miss Trevis as well has an evolutional form, but that doesn't come before Generation 4. And you can get Miss Magus. Maybe we'll see that uh, soon though. Anyways, Miss Trevis, the uh, Ghost-type Pokémon, pure Ghost-type, doesn't have poison this one. It only now has one weakness, which is Shadow Ball. So let's hit the Shadow Ball on Miss Trevis. Right in his face, Miss Trevis will take some damage here, but it will survive. But it will reduce the special defense on Miss Trevis, so one more Shadow Ball will take it down. Shadow Ball in return on Mewtwo. Also super effective, that's right. Psychic Pokemon are weak to Ghost, so having Mewtwo use Shadow Ball is not really often a very good solution here. And again, this is only one of the problems with uh, Ghost type in Generation 1. They didn't really have any good moves. They had Nightshade, but Nightshade didn't do damage based on the type of Ghost. They only did damage based on the level. Now we will see, probably one thing we'll see right now is that Miss Trevis will be getting a full restore. So since I know this will happen anyways, let's just recover with Mewtwo. I guess I will use full restore on uh, Miss Trevis to get it back to full health. I'll just use Recover on Mewtwo and I'll be back to full health as well. So if you want to heal, I'll heal as well, but I don't even need an item, I can just do it myself. Now, since the special defense of Miss Travis went down in the previous turn, this next Shadow Ball should KO it. Let's see if it does. Shadow Ball number 2 on Miss Travis. No, he survives actually! Again! The special defense drops once again on Miss Travis. Miss Travis will do another Shadow Ball on Mewtwo. Let's see how much damage Mewtwo will take. It does pretty good damage, almost 100. Let's see if Agatha will do another uh, full restore. No, he, she won't, and I'll do finish her off, off with another Shadow Ball on Miss Travis that will take it down. Well done, Mewtwo. Next Pokemon up will be Gengar. Yeah, we have another Gengar. So let's just stick with Mewtwo for this one. This Gengar is even more dangerous than the first one. It's because it has a different type of moveset. He doesn't have Shadow Punch or uh, conf Confuse Ray anymo anymore. He doesn't even have Hypnosis, but he kept the Psychic. But now Gengar also knows Thunderbolt and Shadow Ball and Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb and Shadow Ball is the things you have to be careful here because you get the stab bonus. Thunderbolt to counter against Pokemon that are weak to uh, Electric. And Psychic, of course, to counter. Well, Pokemon that are basically strong and uh, weak against Psychic, so be careful here. But, again, Gengar is weak to Psychic himself, so I'll just give him another Psychic for his trouble. That's gonna flash off with Gengar. That will KO Gengar as well. One hit KO, well done Mewtwo. That's one of the reasons why you are one of the strongest Pokémon in history. The final Pokémon of Agatha will be Arbok. Arbok, we already know from before, is a pure Poison-type Pokémon. There different ways of how we can take care of Arbok, but the, probably the best way is to actually stick with Mewtwo and do a Psychic. But at the end, that will be kind of a bit easy, won't it? Now, in terms of Arbok, it knows Double Team, Sludge Bomb, Earthquake, and Giga Drain. That's right. So it does some really nasty moves, it can also do some heavy damage here. It also knows Double Team to make Evasion like a real pain in the ass, if you really feel like it's going to be 
tough. If not, just go rough against anything you want to go with. Let's see, can I do something good like with the primary pair? I don't think I can. So I think the only weakness is ground. So, uh, poison have is probably ground and psychic as far as I can remember. Yeah, ground and psychic is something he's weak to. So I need a ground or psychic move. Um, I can't really use a lot of moves with a uh, primary pair. So, you know what? Let's get in Moltres. I just want to do Moltres here. Moltres in first Arbok. This is great because Arbok would probably love to use Earthquake against Moltres because of fire weakness to ground. But that doesn't really matter for me. Arbok will intimidate me to reduce my attack power. And I'll just burn up the snake instead. Not to perfect the damage though, but just to give some more competition than I need to do it. Flamethrower on Arbok. We'll put it to almost two thirds. Arbok will then counter with a double team to re increase his evasion, -ness, which means my moves will have a slight chance to miss. The flamethrower number two will hit regardless, and that means Arbok probably will be history. Yeah, it is. Arbok is history, and that means this battle with Elite for Agatha is over. Round two complete once again. Oh my! You're something special, child! Thank you, uh, Miss Agatha. You win! I see what the old tough sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. Thank you, Miss Agatha. You see the light on the left and right side here now is uh, completely dulled off. We can't even go back here. We're closed off, so we have to move on. That was a pretty interesting battle, but things are going to even get more interesting now because I see we go in the hallway here. Music changes a bit as well because now we are entering the hall of the final Elite Four member, Lance. Lance and his dragon types is what awaits us next. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, for the next episode of uh, Pokemon Leaf Green. We're gonna take care of Lance in the second last episode of my Let's Play of Pokemon Leaf Green. When we beat Lance, we only have one more battle to go and then we will be completed. If you think this is gonna be easy, uh, you just wait. It's not gonna be easy at all, because Lance has some new Pokemon up his sleeve. Some of them are even very, very strong, so we have to be careful about that. Anyways, we'll see about that next episode. We're gonna go head-to-head -head with Lance in his round two battle. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. That's gonna be it for now, so I'll see you guys next time as my story of Pokemon Leaf Green continues.